Hey guys, it's Bob Morreale here with The Tuning School, and on today's Tech Tuesday, we're going to be discussing Lambda versus AFR when doing flex fuel tuning. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be discussing uh, Lambda versus AFR. So if you've been tuning GMs for a long time, you're probably using AFR. Now AFR is an okay method to tune your air-fuel ratios with. However, uh, most of the time, people when they get a little bit more experienced end up transitioning into using Lambda. Now, why would they use Lambda and then why is it especially important when they're doing flex fuel tuning? So let's talk about that for a little bit. Okay, so your O2 sensors, whether they're a wideband or a narrowband, doesn't really matter. They're not measuring fuel, they're measuring air. And so when they measure that air, they're going to report that back to the computer and it's going to make a fueling adjustment based off that. However, you and how you interpret that data does matter. So if you look at that data and you say, well, today I'm using pure gasoline with no ethanol in it, I have a stoichiometric ratio of 14.7 to one, which is fine but the day you start switching to something like flex fuel, which will actually vary the stoichiometric automatically based on the content of alcohol it senses in the fuel, that's the day you have a problem as a tuner. And so what'll happen is, and we see a lot of tech support with this, is guys will think they're still tuning with one or the other and they end up getting the wrong air fuel ratios. So if you look at the stoichiometric for gasoline at 14.7, that's way different than the stoichiometric air fuel ratio for something like E85, a very popular fuel to be tuning with, which has a 9.7 to one air fuel ratio stoichiometric. So if you're going to tune based on that stoichiometric, you're going to be chasing your tail all the time because you're thinking in AFR because the AFR varies based on the fuel you're using. And to make it more complicated, how concentrated is that fuel you're using? So your AFR is going to be moving constantly when you're doing something like a flex fuel tune. So what we recommend is you start to change the way that you think. You need to start thinking and looking at something called lambda. Now lambda is never uh, going to change. A lambda value of one means stoichiometric. So that means if stoichiometric is 14.7 because you have gasoline, your wideband is going to read one. If lambda of one is 9.77, that means you have E85 in the tank. So those numbers aren't going to change, it's always going to be one. So a lambda of one is equal to 14.7 for gasoline, 9.7 for E85, and so on and so forth. And so it's really important that you start thinking in terms of lambda. So we actually think it's so important, we've put up a neat little chart for you to look at here that'll help you start to think about AFR and lambda in different ways. So for example, uh, usually when you're tuning a naturally aspirated car, you're thinking, I should probably target 12.5 to one AFR. That's usually how people think, right, in that range. So that would be a lambda of 0.85. So if you then took that exact same car and switched it over to E85, you could just think in lambda and say, I'm gonna think of 0.85. So if this sounds confusing, let's go a little deeper. So your GM vehicles typically don't use lambda at all. They use EQ ratio for power enrichment. So when they use EQ ratio, those numbers start at one and work their way up and they're the opposite of lambda. So if you check out this chart, let's just walk through it real quick. So lambda of one is the same as gasoline at 14.7, is the same as E85 at 9.7, and it's the same as the EQ ratio of 1.0. So let's go back to our other example. So lambda of 0.85 means that if you had gasoline, you'd have a 12.5 AFR, or E85, it would be 8.3, and then all the way over here to the EQ ratio of 1.18. So if you just use this little chart, at least in the beginning, while you're getting used to converting over to Lambda, it'll help you as you get used to that process. Because really, once you start thinking in Lambda, it doesn't matter what fuel you actually have in there. And that's the beauty of thinking in Lambda. You can just say, I want to target 0.85. And that means I'm going to put an EQ ratio in of 1.18, and it's going to be correct. But if you try to think of it in AFR, and the concentration of alcohol changed, you would have a problem. So we hope this little tech tip helped you out and that you can go back and start working in Lambda. Thanks for watching and for more high performance tuning knowledge, be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on social media. And as always, stay tuned.